Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you a package, a plugin for Filament for Spotty Translatable. So what if you want to have your records in the Filament resource translatable into multiple languages, like for example posts in multiple languages, English or my own Lithuanian. So for example, when you go to new post, you may specify some title and content in English, but then switch to Lithuanian and provide something else with numbers. For example, let's do it with numbers create, it's saved, and then you go to post, and then you see content in English, and also you can filter that in Lithuanian numbers. So how does that work? First, in the database, it is saved as JSON, because that is the basis how Spotty Translatable plugin works, because Filament plugin is only a visual layer on top of data saving mechanism provided by Spotty. And you can read all the documentation how it is installed and how it works, but I will instead show you the code of GitHub commit. I asked my colleague Nerius to provide me that demo project, and here's what he did and the main parts what to do. So here's the database structure for JSON, title and content. If you want to save your data in another way, you probably need another plugin and this video is not for you. In this case, we're saving in JSON. So that's step one. Then in Composer JSON, you require that filament plugin, which under the hood would install Spotty plugin as well. Then in your panel provider, you enable that plugin and you specify which locales are you working with. And side note, just today I found out that for years I've been mispronouncing the word locales. It should be locales. So yeah, as a non-native English YouTuber, I constantly learn new things. Anyway, back to filament. In the model, of course, you need to make those fillable and also prepare the model for translations according to the documentation of Spotty plugin, which is has translations here and translatable and casts. So this is not a filament layer. And here's where we get to the filament layer. In the resource, post resource in this case, it's quite a lot of code, but what you need to know is that nothing changes in the table or in the form. So there is no translations here. The only thing you need to do is enable use translatable here. That translatable comes from concerns translatable and then filament takes care of everything else. We don't see anything related to translatable except for that trait. And also we need to add that trait in all the separate pages. So in list posts, if you want to make that filter, you need to add translatable here and also locale switcher. Two things from filament. In the edit post, similarly locale switcher and translatable which is, by the way, a different trait, so edit record translatable. In the list post, there was list record translatable, and in the create post, create record translatable, but also locale switcher as action on the top right side. There are a few more features and settings in the package, like relation managers things, so you can read about those in the official documentation. I will link that in the description below. So that's it, a showcase of a plugin. If you want to discover more plugins of Filament, you can browse this repository on the official homepage. Subscribe to the channel to get new videos and see you guys in those other videos.